Hello, YouTube friends. Today we're talking about judgment and you can refer to compassion, which is probably somewhere around this video, judgment. I feel like that is, we're building upon compassion, right? Compassion is probably the first step in order for us to be able to look at how we might be judging in our lives and letting go of the judgment and realizing that we're kind of all in the same boat. You know, the way I look at all of us is we're the same and we're not any better than anybody else. There are a lot of people running around who might feel like that's the case and they might be really stuck on constantly showing how much better they are. But I know, and I wanna offer you, that that's wounding. And the more resistant people are to, um, to doing things like judging and proving and all of those things, it really has so much to do with unresolved pain, unloved pain inside of themselves. So today we're talking about judgment. And if you are a person who feels like they get judged, uh, we all know what it feels like and it doesn't feel good at all. Um, ask yourself if you're judging. This is a great question, right? Because if we think about the law of attraction, right? Like attracts like. So typically, wherever there is a judgment, feeling something around you is happening that is attracting this, right? And our emotions are magnetic. So um, somehow we're attracting that. So it's a good question to ask ourselves. And also I'd like to offer you to ask yourself too, is it hard for you to allow other people to be who they are, right? Do you, do you need people to always see things the way that you do? Do you always need to feel like we're all the same so that you can feel better about yourself? And there's a lot of topics we could go on regarding this, right? We can just think about the foods that we eat or the religion or, or drinking and not drinking or what, whatever it is. There may be those things inside of us that we're constantly focused because of our programming on separation, right? And forming groups. But the truth is, is that that keeps us from becoming one and feeling unified and experiencing love because there is no separation in love. Love is unity. Uh, love is together. Love is um, community, right? It's everything that, that brings us together. That's love. So I think it's, important for us to ask ourselves how difficult is it for us to allow others to have the views that they have and we're getting a lot of practice right now because there's we're in a world where there's a lot of different perspectives and views on all kinds of things so this is wonderful practice for all of us to just be able to ease our grip around needing other people to see it my way needing other people to have the same experiences, needing other people to, to be this or be that, just so I can feel better. You're here, I believe you are here to learn how to feel better by just allowing yourself to be you and to keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into that, which does take a lifetime. Um, I think that we always, we're always uncovering or always unveiling. We're always moving forward and, and letting go of things that no longer serve us, which only gets us closer to who we are authentically. And I feel like we are souls having a human experience. So anytime we can liberate ourselves, anytime we can give up the chains right around ourselves, we have to also offer that to others because we want to feel that back. And judgment is a big one. Uh, I just want to look at my notes here. So it'd be wonderful if we could allow that space for everyone. And I just want to keep in mind also that, you know, we don't know what it's like to be in the shoes of another person. We don't know what it's like to have that unique life experience like that other person has. We know things, we know parts of their story, yes. But it is not my place to be able to tell somebody else that they should be looking at things and doing things according to what I think 
through my eyes. That's my life experience. If I'm doing that, if you're doing that, then we are projecting. We're projecting either our agenda, our beliefs, what, what you should or shouldn't be doing, and that's judgment. So I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope you walked away with some little tidbit. Um, I wanna also mention, you know, cause I don't talk a lot about what I do and, and what I promote. So I'm coming out with a product, it's called Seven Days to You. And this is a great seven day experience where you'll get an opportunity to begin a daily practice we're gonna take a new theme for each day. We're gonna cover gratitude and self-value and compassion and forgiveness. Um, and you will receive a video. You'll get a journal prompt. We'll talk about that. I talk about that in the video. You will also get a mantra for the day and you get a meditation also. So it's a wonderful, a wonderful little product. It's only $14. Um, I feel like it's a wonderful first step. So. If this calls to you, definitely check it out. We're gonna be promoting it really soon. And uh, check out my podcast, You Are Good Enough. Check out my book, Empowering You, 11 Ways to Shift Your Personal Paradigm. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Take care.